Chris and I are doing our video for the builds of 2020. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to ask you your favorite. Oof. God, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of them. I know. Hey everybody, Chris with Legendary Customs. First thing I want to do is welcome you into 2021. Happy New Year. Appreciate each and every one of you tuning in to our channel. If this is the first time you are tuning in, this is an excellent episode to be watching. We are covering 2020. And this is the first time in history that 2020 truly is in our rearview mirrors and is perfect 2020 vision hindsight. I want to go over some of the bills that we had in the shop. What I want you to do is as you're watching this short video reviewing the things that we did in 2020, I want you to comment down below what was your favorite build that went through the shop? What are some of your favorite moments that you watched? What do you think we should have done different on some of these builds? 2020 was a crazy year. This thing called coronavirus came up out of nowhere. That was in March. That same week, a shark attacked my leg. Well, okay. It wasn't a shark. I'm in Wisconsin. It was a chainsaw. And I'm sitting in the doctor's office. My whole family's around me. Deep gashes in my leg. And the doctor literally puts his finger into the wound, takes it out, and my daughter goes, hey, I miss that. Can you do that again? So she videos it. And so that was one of my most memorable moments, having a doctor stick his finger into my leg, past the first joint, taking it out, and I couldn't believe it happened. And then my daughter asked him to do it again. Crazy. Maybe we'll be able to get a clip of that on here. But if you're squeamish, watch out. It's crazy. <laughs> But anyway, I want you to comment down below what was your favorite build of 2020? As I go through the list, I'm almost, let me check. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You're gonna have to tell us which one of your favorite builds out of the 16 projects that went through the shop. See which one you liked the most. Comment down below what was your favorite part of it. We'd love to hear from you. We like your feedback it's awesome that you guys comment below tell us what you would like us to do for upcoming 2021 episodes that would help us out a ton also we're going to be revisiting my rides it is a uh, pilot episode that we put out featuring your vehicles we want to revisit that because we actually did get some really good feedback from it we just have to dedicate our time to it so we're going to feature rides that you guys build and we're gonna have future episodes of that coming up as well so again thank you for being with us we appreciate you watching this episode here comes our list of 2020 vehicles that came through legendary customs January 2020 was just like most January's cold out in Wisconsin and we were finishing up a 1962 Pontiac Grand Prix for Lynn and his wife it was a dream car of his for a long long time he bought a very solid car to begin with needed some slight tweaks here and there very very little rust we ended up cutting it out about the size of a dollar bill and a rear quarter put in a new piece painted the entire car rebuilt the entire motor and uh, they're out cruising in that bad boy right now hopefully this upcoming year we will have the God's Country Car Show and it will be one of the feature vehicles at the show in March. We also finished up a 1977 Corvette for Mark. The 1977 Corvette was a very special build for Mark and his wife. It actually was purchased brand new in his wife's hometown. And uh, of course one of the things we had to do with that was take the motor from I think 190 horsepower and we jazzed it up to a little bit over 300 horsepower with a rebuild so it's still the original motor beautiful new paint we did the interior on it months before and then uh, the motor brought that up in horsepower after that 
you all know about the 1948 Willys pickup truck. The Willys, we had to invent many things because we adapted a Cadillac Escalade frame to go underneath it. Truck turned out beautiful. It's an awesome truck. Looks old, but it has all the undercarriage of uh, the frame of a new Cadillac. Coil over shocks up in front. Coil over in the rear on a four link rear. So it's uh, turned out really, really nice. Another vehicle that we had in was the 1963 GMC, the Penny Pincher. We lovingly call it the Penny Pincher because it literally was on a pretty tight budget. He had the truck. We did almost nothing to the body. Um, he wanted to keep the patina look. When he was a teenager, just like most builds, it was built because of memories. When he was a teenager, one of his first trucks was a 63. It was either a Chevy and this one, no, it was a GMC and this one was a Chevy. But not one single panel on that truck was the same color when he had it. He was he would paint every panel something different when he got to it. And uh, the Penny Pincher reminded him of that. And uh, that truck turned out pretty awesome. We did the interior on that one. Beautiful, like brand new. Under the hood, rebuilt the motor. Beautiful, like brand new. And then the outside, we left old and we did a clear coat over the patina that's been, uh, that was on there. Now after the 63 GMC, we had a 1959 Chevy Impala convertible come in. And boy, that was a gorgeous car. Um, it, it had a lot of years on the restoration from the early 90s, late 80s, somewhere in there. But it still had great curb appeal because the body lines on those things are just, they're amazing. And being a convertible on top of it, very, very cool. Now what do we do to this car? When it came in, it ran rough, so we put a new carburetor on it. Uh, the carb that was on it was just too big for the motor. It was a 750 carb, so it was over carbureted. And we fixed the air ride. Had a brand new air ride system in it. Um, we updated it, put in a new pump, and got it so it had no leaks. And that is out on the road, going up and down as it should. Boy, I look at the list here and it's just a, a lot of a lot of vehicles. It's awesome. We did a 1938 Ford truck, as you guys remember seeing. That was our most recent video that we put out. That was a full engine rebuild. It came in for fuel related problems. Um, but because it was parked so long, the motor itself uh, got some water in three of the cylinders from a leaking head gasket. And we just had to rebuild it. Then we had a 1966 Chevy Suburban. We're still working on that one today. Watch for the episodes to come out. That started as a quick uh, flip vehicle that I had purchased. Just wanted to make a really nice daily driver. The paint scheme that we picked didn't go over very well. So uh, we're doing it all over again. Took out all of the rust, pulled the body off the frame, media blasted the frame, painted it, putting it all back together so it will be like a brand new vehicle on the outside put in the LS motor automatic transmission so it's really nice and updated then I found my personal 55 Chevy Suburban just touched base a little bit on that that will be coming up in episodes we also did a 1959 Chevy truck for a gentleman painted it the blue that comes on the 2020 Vipers, excuse me, the 2020 Corvettes. Really, really cool blue color. Um, I have a feeling in January or February that will be coming in for us to finish it sometime in the 2020 year. Also, we did a newer truck, a 2019 Ram pickup truck. We did a full lift kit on there, Fox shocks all the way around, took it up, I believe, I believe it was a eight inch full body lift and um, suspension lift. So it, all I can say is a beautiful truck and it's up there. And of course we did an Eagle Talon for Joe. 
that was our second eagle talon that we did for him and uh, anyway so that's a list of some of the vehicles that came through we also did a, a 49 mercury we also did a 69 mustang um, just some paint restoration on those also brought back in the GTX of uh, Daryl's did some work on that just had a lot of vehicles come through it was an excellent 2020 for legendary customs and uh, just wanted to review some of those things and thank everybody for bringing us your vehicles if you have something sitting at home that you would like to have uh, restored paint restoration carburetor rebuild on it just some wiring problems to bring it so it runs properly brake issues whatever it needs to be if you have something sitting around it needs to be out there on the road to get you on the road we can make it safe for you make sure it's running fine make sure all the mechanicals are doing what they're supposed to go and stop as they should easy thing for us to do we appreciate each and every one of you watching this if uh, you like what you see hit the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel follow us on Facebook and Instagram and you will see what's coming appreciate each and every one of you till the next episode